From work i don't actually think i have talked to you guys yet today so good morning welcome to the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed the back workout um my freaking hamstrings and glutes are killing me from yesterday's workout and then my back is already sore from the workout this morning so those are definitely good workouts you should try them um I read your guys, I was reading some of the comments off of yesterday's video before I left to come home and I was gonna sit down and talk to you guys and then I was like, I'll just do it when I get home. I feel like I should have, I, I guess I should have clarified a little bit more when I was talking to you guys about like how I was struggling yesterday just a little bit at the gym, like how I felt gross and felt bloated and just whatever. Um, I should have clarified that that was like just kind of like a one-time thing. Um, it, like I don't feel like that all the time. Thank you guys so much in the comment section for all of the advice and being so sweet and understanding and supportive and um, yeah, thank you so much for that. I, I, my main point in sharing that was not to be like poor, poor me, which I, I don't think you guys thought that, but it wasn't because I feel like that all the time. Like I am definitely very excited to put on weight. Um, I have no problem eating food. Like I already feel so much better. I told you guys I already feel like I have a lot more strength in the gym, which is making me enjoy my training sessions so much more. Um, yesterday I was just extremely bloated because I was off my water game. And then on top of having like a cheat meal with being dehydrated, my body was just holding on to so much water and I was just really uncomfortable, which happens to me in like my the deep part of off season two like when i'm already like at my fluffiest <laughs> that's what i like to call it when i'm fluffy um i i get that all year round i get that when i'm on prep like it's just uncomfortable when you're bloated and i feel like a lot of you can relate to that but my main point in sharing that was just so really everyone but especially the competitors i know i have a good handful of competitors who are either like still on prep or actually are basically at the same point i am right now and i've had a couple of people reach out to me saying that like asking for advice because they've been struggling a little bit and like it's their first it was their first time competing so it's been really hard post-show like handling food and everything like that and this i feel like so far this improvement season a lot of my videos i've been talking about how i've come so far from last year and how like i have such a better mindset this time which is so 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 true and i want to share i definitely want to put that energy out there because i feel like it will hopefully rub off on some other people and at the end of the day i am just sharing my journey and this is just how this process is going right now it is a lot smoother for me than it was last year and i'm so thankful for that but I would be lying to you guys and I feel like all of us can relate to this like we all have days where we don't feel that good about ourselves and I just wanted to make sure I put that out there especially for the competitors who are following along with this unstoppable journey um, just so they know they're not alone because 
Yes, although this improvement season is 150 times better than it was last year for me. Like I'm in such a better place mentally. Um, I'm excited to put weight back on. I'm excited to eat all the foods and enjoy everything. Like going out to dinner doesn't stress me out. Last year it did stress me out. Like I wanted to go, but I didn't want to eat the unhealthy food. And I would like try to look up the menu beforehand, which I do now, but for a different reason. Like I look up the menu before I go to a restaurant to figure out all the foods I want, not because I'm trying to figure out, okay, what, what is still healthy? Like what's going to be the healthiest option for me to get? I was just not in a good place last year. That is not the case this year, but that does not mean that I don't have days where I'm like, Hmm, definitely feeling a little bit thicker today than I did yesterday. And like, I mean, I would just be lying to myself and you guys if I said I didn't have days like that and that gaining weight is so easy and that um, that you shouldn't be struggling with it too. My goal is to be as open and honest with you guys, so hopefully it will be beneficial for those of you who are struggling and you can see that like it's okay, you're not alone, and you're able to get out of it. Like. That was kind of my big thing with my talk yesterday I had was just saying that like it's okay to have times like that because we're all going to have times like that like competitor, non-competitor, male, female, literally everyone has days where you don't feel the best and where you feel bloated or you just feel like you don't look attractive and you don't feel attractive or you just don't feel comfortable. Um, that doesn't mean it's all the time but it is important to be able to snap yourself out of it. Snap yourself out of that. Like it's that's the one thing and I mentioned in one of, when I responded to one of the comments you guys um, posted yesterday on that video, was that I feel very, very thankful that I'm able to recognize, like almost immediately when my head is in that space, and I'm able to recognize that and be like, heck no, that's not how I'm, I'm not gonna let myself keep thinking like this, like I snap myself out of it. I'm like, like stop focusing on that because it is so true, competitive, being, a competitor and just in our society in general sorry this is getting really long I just got I was thinking about this the whole way home <laughs> um, being a competitor and just in our society alone we focus so much on how we look and at the end of the day like yeah you want to look good blah, blah, blah. I have so much on my mind right now that I can't talk um, yes of course we want to look good but at the end of the day I care more about how I feel, how I'm able to perform. Like mentally now, I that whole prep brain, that's almost finally gone, which makes me so happy. Um, that is one of the signs, like yeah, I was kind of joking about it, but like you should not be feeling like that. And I'm fully aware of that. Like I would never try to maintain my stage weight. It's literally not possible for me. Um, I like food way too much and I don't like feeling like that. Like I, I would never try to prolong that if I don't have to and that's another thing I'm very grateful to have a coach who is able to like who who knows when we should cut it off and not push my body farther than it needs to be for no reason. Like he that's what he was saying his whole point of cutting my season short he's like you dieting for another seven weeks is only going to move us in the opposite direction and like we need you to start building like i don't want to keep you in a caloric deficit any longer than we have to i'm very thankful for that i'm thankful for the fact that i'm able to get myself out of these unhealthy mindsets i feel like i can get myself out of them very quickly um and yeah i'm rambling i'm literally out of breath from talking right now um, but that was my whole point in yesterday's video and I feel like I, I probably should have elaborated on that a little bit more so that's my fault because um, a lot of your guys comments you're like I hate that you're struggling and like thank you so 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 much for caring um, but I did just want to make sure to clarify that that is not all the time like I'm very happy to put on weight I'm happy to be eating more Marie and I were just talking yesterday and laughing about like we have never been the kind of people that would like under eat like I never worry about myself under eating um, I'm definitely more likely to overeat because I like food and I like trying new things so long story short thank you guys for caring so much thank you for all of your comments and just know that when I share stuff like that, it doesn't mean that I feel like that all the time. It's just I do, I am doing daily vlogs, so you guys are literally getting to see me every single day, my emotions, 
generally like all points throughout the day. Um, I try to make sure to share all of the highs and lows with you guys. So you're gonna see the times when I'm struggling. But the main reason I wanted to share that yesterday was because I feel like so far in these videos, you've seen a lot of highs and especially for the competitors, I just want, I want you guys to know that you're not alone. If you're struggling, it's completely normal, but it's very, very, very important to be able to realize, okay, this mindset is not healthy. It's not helping me at all to keep focusing on this and fixating on these little things. And um, yeah, just to be able to get yourself out of that negative place. And if anyone needs any, like if you wanna reach out to me or message me and I'll try to help you in any way because that is something I feel like I'm pretty good at. I'm gonna stop rambling. 10 minutes later, I'm still talking. Um, I need to go to the post office, go to my dad's. I have to send out my taxes and I need to ship out this protein to the winner because I'm horrible and haven't shipped it out yet, but we've had busy days at work and then yesterday I just was like not feeling the best. I am feeling better today though, which is very good. So I'm gonna go head to my dad's need to find a box to ship this out in <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. We'll see what the rest of the night holds. Hey! Hi, he's a boy. I'm coming. Hold on. I know. Did you just go on a hike with grandpa? Oh, are you so excited I'm home? Look at her little paws. <laughs> Hi. I know. So pretty. Oh, you want to say hi to them? Let's see, what are you doing filming me? My hair looks like a hot mess. <laughs> um, okay, made it home from my dad's, and I got two packages while I was there that I was not, well, I was like expecting them, but didn't know they would be here today. One of them is very exciting. Those of you who have been following me for at least the past like month, two months know that I lost my headphones and I've been meaning to get a new pair but I hadn't because I've been using Christopher's and a headphone company reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try their headphones and I looked them up and they're actually very similar to what I had same price same concept and these are them so I am going to give them a try try them tomorrow morning we'll see how I like them I actually I mean we're gonna see I'll give you guys my honest review. Um, I think that I'm gonna, I have really tiny ears and those little, let's see, these things, I look so cute right now. This part actually sits like inside your ear, like right here. And I think I might like that better than the Beats ones because that was one problem I had. They were adjustable kind of, but sometimes it would loosen up like, if I had to run with them, I didn't necessarily love them, and I think that this would stay better in my ear just because I have little baby ears. And yeah, so I'm excited to try them. We will see. It's very similar to what I had though, so I can't, can't imagine I would hate them. We'll see how the sound quality is and everything. So I got this, and then Selfie Z, the phone case I have, um, they sent me one of those little magnetic backs that has like a suction cup on it to stick to the mirrors and like if there's you know so you can stick your phone anywhere if there's nothing magnetic to stick your phone to so i got those two things christopher just called me he just left work so when he gets back we are going to figure out what our plans are for tonight look at my hair it is a disaster <laughs> um so i i was about to make my um zucchini noodle and like ground turkey or ground bison meal again basically the same thing i had yesterday but i'm gonna hold off for the next like 30 minutes until he gets home just to see if he had something else in mind because improvement season i can eat whatever i want i have the meal plan but like it's friday so if he wants to do something else we'll do something else if not i'm gonna have that meal and yeah you know bill All right, I will catch up with you guys when he gets home. We'll figure out the plans for the evening. I think I'm gonna take these out. I wanna, I'm like real curious to see how these are now.
And I'm just so excited to have my own headphones because Chris, like, will go to the gym and then he just leaves them in random pockets of his clothes. So I'm like in the mornings running around trying to look at, find, I'm like, okay, did what jacket did he wear? I'll find the jacket, look in the pockets, not in there. I'm like, okay, what pants did he wear? He just tends to throw his clothes around like sometimes at, yeah. So it'll be nice to have my own. Okay, I went to open these and realized how cool this packaging is. So first, I don't know. I, I think it's cool. It's a magnet. And then, like, look at how fancy these things are. I still need to figure out how to get them out, though. Oh, got it. Maybe. Oh, it's taped down. That's why. Um, I'm an idiot. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, oh, did I get new headphones? Oh my god, this little Velcro piece is so tiny. Okay. These are longer than my other ones. Here, will you help me? Thank you. I don't know how to put This goes in. I don't like how I'm in this. This is left, yeah. So this goes in this little weird ear hole. How crazy does my hair look? That is sturdy. <laughs> I like them. Do you want to try them? Yeah. This part. In. Yeah. Yeah. I like them. Well, obviously, I'll have see to listen. I see, I see how they sound, but I like the way they feel. Yeah. They're really sturdy. They're comfortable, for sure. And we're going to dinner? Yeah. Where are we yeah. going? 101 Beer Kitchen. We're looking really cute. He's wearing that. I'm wearing this. <laughs> We're really attractive. Okay, I got the blackened mahi lettuce wraps and a side of fries because I knew it wasn't gonna be filling and I'm so glad I got those. And I'm kind of jealous of, okay, he's already going at it. And I just stuck with my water. Dinner was yummy, and it's literally beautiful. It got up to like 70. Guys, it's literally it's li beautiful. It is. Not figuratively beautiful. No, literally. Literally beautiful. And the restaurant we went to. Can't even. <laughs> beautiful. The restaurant we went to, we were able to just walk from our apartment, and it's just wonderful. I am so pale ever since that spray tan scrubbed off. Horrible. All right, we're gonna go home and watch a movie and Christopher was just saying he used to be the candy man and now he says he goes I don't do that anymore I don't need a whole bag of candy to watch a movie it actually hurts my stomach and all that right. candy I got him for Easter he still has like three or four things left of it that was like two weeks ago yeah usually they'd be gone in like a day he loves his blow pops though or at least he used those to yeah those are gone those were gone first what are we gonna watch I don't know. There's cars driving by. I wonder how they, how weird they think I am. I want to get a new camera. Okay, the camera is doing this absolutely no justice, but it looks freaking gorgeous outside. The sky is like super orange and you can't see it all. That's frustrating. You can see how orange I am though. Um, there we go. It is the next morning. Chris and I fell asleep on the couch. He's still sleeping. Um, I haven't even started editing the video, so I'm going to do that, eat some breakfast probably, and um, I just spent my whole morning with Regina at the gym, and I was like, my people miss you, and she, we had already talked about like getting food when I was off prep, and so we're, we have all these plans made, and she goes, okay, tell them I'll be back, and 
so you guys have that to look forward to i'm so excited but that is it for the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to record all of today because that's what i do daily vlogs um and today's gonna be a really really good day this is just like blowing my mind right now the birds are chirping outside whoa yeah look at that Okay, I will see you guys in the next vlog, which for me is literally the second I turn this off.